Hi there, my name's Luke and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so tonight is the first clear night I've had in around three weeks now. Uh, there have been little breaks every now and again, which um, fortunately I've been able to make use of and set up my uh, extra little bits of equipment I've uh, picked up. I'll touch upon those in a moment. But um, really now, as we're getting on uh, late in the month, um, the winter constellations are really starting to disappear quite quickly. Uh, I don't know if you can tell just now, but Orion's actually just there for me, so straight due south at 8 o'clock. Um, I should be able to get a few hours tonight on my chosen target, which is going to be the Rosette Nebula, uh, and hopefully get something decent. Uh, there's a moon up around 40%, I'd say, illuminated, um, but I've fortunately just received the Optolong L Extreme uh, filter, which is going to be perfect for this sort of target. So stay tuned. So uh, since my last video, my equipment's undergone a few changes. Um, the first one of which is this, I guess, which is the ZWO ASI 2600 MC colour camera. Uh, I moved away from mono. It's not the first time that this has happened to me, but um, I'm certainly hoping it's going to be the last now. Uh, I really do enjoy colour every single time I've used it, and whenever I move away and yearn more complexity with mono, I always regret it and uh, end up coming back. I think it just fits quite well with my style of shooting uh, and also. The tendency that we get not very many clear nights in a row which makes sometimes uh, a long mono uh, project quite hard to finish um, so i'm looking forward to getting a lot of good good nights use out of that um, the next thing i got was this uh, sesto senso 2 autofocus unit um, really what can i say other than i just wish i'd done that sooner um, that were the advice of a few people commenting on the channel uh, and yeah, I'm glad I listened. Basically, that's been fantastic. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, I have had a few little sections of clear sky, maybe an hour long each. Uh, and that's just been all I needed really to get autofocus set up and working. Uh, the other thing that I got is what I also mentioned was the Optolong L Extreme filter. Um, so I had previously owned a, an Optolong L Enhance uh, and I found that fantastic uh, when I was using it with my last color camera, well, last two which was a uh, 294C uh, MC, sorry, and a ZWASI 533 MC cool, uh, another fantastic camera, and actually the little brother to the one I've got here, um, really fantastic unit. Uh, but yeah, the, the L Extreme is apparently just the next step along in the evolution of that sort of filter. Um, it's two narrowband filters, um, on one basically uh, and for those of you who don't know what these filters basically do is they, blo they block like the whole spectrum of light apart from basically the two very narrow bands that you want to let through so um, in this case it's just hydrogen and oxygen and they're what make up 99% of all the nebula that you'll be able to view in the night sky uh, along with one other uh, channel which is uh, sulfur 2 but unfortunately this filter doesn't let that through but it'd be no use anyway because sulfur and hydrogen are both deep red uh, so there'd be no way to differentiate between them really on a color camera um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to giving it first light It's currently uh, 10 past 9 and uh, unfortunately I still haven't managed to get a start yet as it's uh, completely clouded out. Uh, this definitely wasn't predicted in the weather but anybody who uh, does astrophotography probably knows what this feels like. Um, but I'm altogether not that bothered because it just gave me a chance to go inside and watch um, the Perseverance rover just touch down and beam back its first few images which were pretty damn cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's currently 20 to 10 uh, and it's just now cleared. Uh, I've finally got my autofocusing done. Um, doesn't really work very well through clouds, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm plate solved aligned on the, the rosette and ready to go. So my uh, very first five minute exposures just came in now from the uh, L Extreme and 2600 MC. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty blown away. <laughs> Just a quick update, uh, it's just gone 11 p.m. now. Uh, things are going fairly smoothly. There's been a few scattered clouds passing by, but nothing too much. I've only had to get rid of one or two frames. Um, I think I have about 10 uh, good ones so far. And by the looks of the position of the rosette, I think I'll get about another hour's worth, I think, before, um, before it's just too low uh, into my neighbor's roof, basically. We'll see. Well, that's the end of my uh, capture on the Rosette Nebula now. I managed to get 17 decent frames at five minutes each. Um, fortunately, that should be enough to get something reasonable. We'll soon see uh, once I've stacked and edited those together. But, uh, you know, fingers crossed, it's something decent. Um, unfortunately, I can't move on to another target because uh, seasons are so advanced now that really we're onto Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy targets only, so I need to remove the L Enhance filter uh, and get back ready for those. But um, I'd like to leave it in place just a few more days in case uh, we end up some more clear sky.